Hey, TNT here. So the weather's gotten better finally. I'm able to get outside and do some work on the XR250 and get it posted so you guys can see what uh, the plan is with this. So last time I got the uh, valve cover off and then removed the clutch cover and found a lot of metal inside the clutch cover which looks to be piston. Uh, today I'm going to pull the head off and have a look and see what's up with the piston. Um, I should be able to see into the, the inside part of the block there and see if there's any chunks taken out of the case. If there are pieces of the case missing then that's pretty much it for this project. The bike becomes a, a parts resale bike. If there's no damage to the case itself then I will pull it apart uh, price out a uh, new piston and get this whole thing back together. So that's what the plan will be today to get the head off and have a look down inside. the kind of damage we got inside there. disappointed in what I found in that motor. Uh, it looks to be like uh, part of the case might be broken and uh, the costs now are just rising to the point where I can't transfer savings on to anybody else that I want to sell the bike to and nor can I really justify rebuilding it for myself at the cost that it would cost. I can go out and just 
buy an already running bike in better condition than this one's in. So it's now turned into a parts resale project. I'll be dismantling the entire bike. I'll be doing videos as I do it, as I clean it all up, and as I group the parts together and how I'm going to sell them on uh, maybe Craigslist or some different uh, Facebook sites. So I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, please stay tuned for future videos. Weather's getting better. Crossing my fingers for no snow. Uh, I want to get out and ride. I plan to go out and ride today but I really wanted to get working on this project and figure out whether or not it's worth putting any money into it. Um, next weekend is shift change weekend for me so it gives me an opportunity for more time. I want to get out on the KX500 and some of the other bikes. Maybe do some top speed tests on uh, the TTRs. And that's about it. Uh, the CR500 frame will be coming in from California hopefully next week. We'll get it sent off for powder coating and then really it's just cleaning everything up on the CR500, uh, refreshing all the plastic, putting it back together and getting out there and riding it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please leave some comments. Uh, new viewers, please subscribe and share it to your friends and uh, I'll see you next video.